What is a Human Machine Interface, HMI? Beginner's Guide to Industrial Automation. Have you ever walked up to a machine, tapped a touch screen, pressed a few buttons, and just like that, the machine comes alive? Behind that simple interaction is something powerful, the Human Machine Interface, or HMI. In today's beginner-friendly video, we'll break down what an HMI is, how it works, and why it's such a crucial part of industrial automation. Whether you're an aspiring technician, engineer, or just a curious mind, this video is your gateway into the world of industrial control panels, touchscreens, and smart automation. Let's dive in. What is an HMI? So what exactly is a human-machine interface? At its core, an HMI is any device or software that allows a human operator to interact with a machine, system, or process. Think of it like the dashboard of a car. It doesn't drive the car, but it gives you real-time feedback, speed, fuel, warnings, and lets you control functions like the AC, music, or navigation. In the industrial world, an HMI gives operators a visual window into what's happening inside a machine or process. It displays data like temperature, motor speed, pressure, or system status, and allows control through buttons, sliders, or touch inputs. The goal? Safe, efficient, and user-friendly machine operation. Evolution of HMIs HMIs have come a long way over the years. In the early days of automation, operators used physical panels filled with push buttons, selector switches, analog meters, and indicator lights. These were basic, but functional. Then came text-based displays, monochrome LCDs that could show a few lines of data. Today, we have full-color touchscreens that look and feel like smartphones, displaying animated graphics, real-time charts, and interactive dashboards. And it doesn't stop there, some HMIs now support web access, mobile control, voice commands, and even augmented reality. We are not just interfacing with machines anymore, we are managing entire smart factories from a single screen. Components that make up a human-machine interface. So now that we know what an HMI is, let's break down what actually makes an HMI tick. Behind that sleek touchscreen or colorful display, there are several key components working together to give operators full control over machines and processes. Let's look at the essential building blocks of a modern HMI. Display unit. This is the most visible part, literally. It's the screen the operator interacts with. HMIs can use LCD, LED, or TFT screens, depending on the application. Some are small and simple, just enough to show a few values. Others are high-resolution, full-color panels with touch capabilities. They can support multi-language interfaces, animations, and graphical dashboards that visualize real-time processes. Think of it like the control tower of an airport, always showing what's happening, what's going wrong, and what needs attention. Input devices. Next up, input, how the operator gives instructions to the machine. In older systems, this was done through buttons, switches, or keypads. But modern HMIs, they are touch-based. Operators tap, swipe, and scroll just like they would on a tablet or smartphone. Some even support multi-touch gestures or stylus input for more precision. This direct interaction makes operation faster, easier, and more intuitive, especially on complex systems. Processor, CPU. Like any smart device, an HMI needs a brain. The CPU, or central processing unit, is what runs the software, handles data processing, renders graphics, and manages communication with other devices like PLCs and sensors. A fast processor ensures smooth graphics, quick response times, and real-time updates, which are critical when managing time-sensitive industrial processes. In simpler terms, without the CPU, the HMI is just a fancy screen. Memory, RAM and storage. Next, memory. Just like your phone or computer, an HMI uses RAM and internal storage to function. It stores the operating system that runs the HMI. All the graphical elements like buttons and animations. Alarm logs, trend data, and often, recipes, which are preset parameters for different production modes. Communication ports. Now, let's talk connectivity. An HMI doesn't work in isolation, it talks to PLCs, sensors, drives, and sometimes even the cloud. It does this using communication ports. These might include Ethernet ports for fast, real-time data exchange. 
serial ports like RS-232 or RS-485 for older devices. USB ports for firmware updates or data transfer. And increasingly, wireless options like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and even cellular or cloud connections. The type of communication used depends on the environment and system complexity. Software. Finally, the soul of the HMI, the software. This is where engineers design everything the operator sees and interacts with. Custom dashboards. Alarm pages. Trend charts. Pop-up windows. Startup stop buttons. And links to PLC data. Popular HMI programming platforms include Siemens WinCC. Rockwell's Factory Talk View. Schneider Electric's Video Designer. Mitsubishi's GT Works and many more. The software defines how the machine talks back to the operator, making the HMI not just a screen, but a full communication bridge between man and machine. So, when you look at an HMI, don't just see a panel. See a mini computer with its own processor, software, memory, and connectivity. All wrapped in a user-friendly touchscreen that empowers operators to run, monitor, and troubleshoot industrial processes. And when these components work together, in harmony, the result is a powerful control interface that keeps machines running smoothly and safely. Types of HMIs Not all HMIs are created equal. Let's look at a few common types. Push-button replacer panels, these are basic panels that mimic traditional control stations. They simply replace physical buttons with digital ones. Data handlers, these are more advanced. They collect, display, and log real-time data, like pressure readings, motor status, or temperature levels. Operators can use these for monitoring and diagnostics. Supervisory HMIs, these are often part of larger SCADA systems. They don't just control a machine, they monitor entire processes across factories, plants, or even remote locations. You might find HMIs built into machines, control panels, or even portable tablets. Their size and function depend on the complexity of the system they manage. How HMIs work with PLCs. Here's where it gets interesting. Most industrial HMIs work hand-in-hand -hand with programmable logic controllers, or PLCs. The PLC acts as the brain of the system, it controls the logic, turns motors on and off, opens valves, checks sensors. The HMI acts as the face, it shows the current state of the system and lets the operator give commands, like starting or stopping a motor. Communication between the PLC and HMI happens over industrial protocols like Modbus, Ethernet, IP, Profinet, or IS-232. Imagine a touchscreen with a start button. When the operator presses it, the HMI sends a signal to the PLC. The PLC sees the command, runs its logic, and starts the machine. Then it tells the HMI, I'm running now. The HMI updates the display, maybe changing the status to green or showing a running animation. That's the beauty of HMI plus PLC integration. Key features of modern HMIs. Modern HMIs offer a wide range of features, let's highlight a few. Graphical displays full-color screens with icons, gauges, alarms, and animations. Touchscreen interaction, no more physical buttons, just tap, swipe, or scroll. Real-time monitoring, view live data updates from sensors and equipment. Alarm management, get alerts when something goes wrong, like high temperature or low pressure. Historical data logging, track past data for diagnostics and reports. Recipe management, store different machine settings for quick changeovers. Remote access monitor and control systems from your laptop or phone, even from across the world. These features help operators make fast, informed decisions, reducing downtime and increasing productivity. Industries that use HMIs. HMIs are used across almost every modern industry. In manufacturing, they monitor machines, assembly lines, and robotic arms. In power plants, they help operators manage energy flow, voltage, and load balancing. In water treatment, HMIs control pumps, valves, and chemical dosing. In automotive, they manage painting robots, conveyor systems, and engine testing. Even in food and beverage, they ensure your snacks are made, packed, and delivered consistently. Wherever there's automation, there's likely an HMI. HMI design best practices. Designing a good HMI isn't just about making it look pretty, it's about clarity, speed, and safety. Here are some best practices. 
Use clear labels no operator wants to guess what a button does. Color coding use standard colors. Green for running, red for fault, yellow for warning. Avoid clutter, only show what's necessary. Simplicity reduces errors. Group related items like showing all motor statuses in one screen. Include alarms and logs so operators know what went wrong and when. A well-designed HMI improves operator efficiency, reduces training time, and prevents costly mistakes. To wrap it up, a human-machine interface is more than just a screen, it's the vital link between people and machines. As automation grows more advanced, HMIs are becoming smarter, faster, and more connected. Understanding HMIs is essential for anyone entering the field of industrial automation. Whether you're wiring panels, programming PLCs, or designing factories, the HMI is where it all comes together. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the Control Brainiac, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next automation deep dive. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay brainy.